put Bernie Sanders up. Right, there's never gonna be what, what about China, like, killing 50 million girls, and even including after they're born? You don't even know about that? <laughs> See, she doesn't know. That's a shield against that. And, and so Bernie Sanders is great, and China has the model. Time to go. Time to go. Hey. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Good hey, take you, care, man. Take care. Be safe. See, it's all funny. Bernie Sanders is going to save us, but China has got great stuff for babies. And then, like, kind of videotape, like, you videotape us, we videotape you, like, we're intimidated by that. We go up against the New World Order. But see how they've instilled a love of destruction, a love of enslavement in these people? <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Jones inside Google. Simply saying, hey, you watch us, we watch you. And we're going to recommend Info Warriors in the next few weeks come down here by the thousands and come in with your phones and do live reports surveilling them. They won't be able to stop the signal. Alex Jones for InfoWars.com. If you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Well, the news that the Texas Office of the Inspector General raided several Planned Parenthood facilities yesterday uh, was quite surprising, and my guest today might have had a lot to do with that. Now, Abby Johnson is a former Planned Parenthood director turned whistleblower, and also now you're the founder of abortionworker.com, where you're striving to reach directly the clinic workers themselves, as well as the abortionists uh, and the doctors. Um, so welcome back to the studio. Thanks. Now, last time you were here, you were just about to testify before the Texas Senate there. They were holding a, a hearing um, responding to those gruesome undercover videos uh, that have, were released throughout this year. Tell me what do you think about the response? Yeah, you know, it was interesting. Um, it, I mean, even in, in the hearing, I mean, those that, that want to defend Planned Parenthood, those that are... Uh, in places of power because of Planned Parenthood, because of their PAC money, because they've they've essentially gotten them into office. Um, you know, they sort of have the same talking points over and over again. Uh, I thought it was interesting actually in the hearing, they one of one of the ladies, Garcia, said, she asked me, and you know, how much are you getting paid 
to be here today. And I just, I love being able to answer nothing. <laughs> right. I, you know, I'm doing this because I believe that Planned Parenthood is doing the wrong thing. And I think that they're misusing, I know that they're misusing our tax money. And uh, I, I was really, just really excited to see the OIG taking this so seriously and, and going into these affiliate uh, facilities and, and, and taking the documents that they need to prove once and for all that, that Planned Parenthood is not responsible with our money. And as long as they're not responsible, uh, and, and quite honestly, as long as they're, they're performing abortions, they should not be receiving any tax dollars. Exactly. And I know several uh, states have been moving to defund Planned Parenthood. Uh, Texas, of course, is one of them. Now, I did recall in the Senate hearing, one of the witnesses there uh, giving the testimony said that a lot of times the clinics would be tipped off before mm -hmm. there were inspections. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes they were, they were able to hide whatever activities they were doing because they'd be tipped off. Do you think something like that could have happened here with this raid? Uh, we learned just last week Planned Parenthood decided to stop selling the aborted fetuses, uh, right. even though they weren't doing anything wrong. Right, yeah. I don't think so. I mean, uh, knowing what's, uh, you know, been taking place here, uh, with the OIG's office, uh, you know, I, they were very quiet about what was taking place and what they were looking for. Uh, and the fact that that uh, Planned Parenthood Gulf Coast out of Houston was so resistant uh, to even letting them come in and, and look at anything uh, tells me that they were they were not prepared uh, for for these inspectors to come in. And uh, and so that's good. I mean, we need we need surprise inspections because, I mean, like I said in the hearing, gosh, any time that there was a uh, we knew every time our, our inspector was coming in from the state, uh, I would have all of the documents ready for her. Yeah, you know, she just you came in. See. Here's what you need to look at. Here's the charts that I pulled for you. Uh, right. We see that a lot in, in the government uh, agencies investigating themselves. Sure. Right. Yeah. It's no different. What do you think about the fact Planned Parenthood is saying that this is a politically charged document hunt. They're not going to find anything. Well, I'm sure they would like to believe that uh, they're not going to find anything. And honestly, maybe at some of the affiliates, they won't find any uh, any sort of Medicaid abuses or Medicaid fraud. But, uh, you know, I know for a fact that it was taking place at Planned Parenthood Gulf Coast, which is the largest affiliate in, in our state, um, one of the largest in the country. Uh, I, I find it hard to believe that an affiliate that large in the state would be acting alone uh, when they were participating in, in, you know, these fraudulent transactions. Um, but I, I think that they absolutely will find something. And, and, uh, I think that the OIG has enough information so that they know where to look. Cause that's been one of the problems I think with sort of this federal investigation is, you know, one of the, the reps from the, the oversight committee came out and said, well, we just didn't, we didn't find anything. We didn't find anything wrong. And I think one of the reasons is because they really don't know where to look and they don't know what they're looking for. I mean, Planned Parenthood is an expert mm -hmm. at protecting themselves, at uh, covering their tracks. And, and so you really have to have somebody that knows where to look and what to look for helping guide uh, these inspectors as they're going in. Right, where they might be hiding it. I believe that you mentioned in your testimony there that it was, um, you would have to look in a certain line item on, on people's mm -hmm. paychecks and things like that. Right. It's it's all about line items uh, for Planned Parenthood, and they are good at, at uh, they're the best, really, at disguising uh, fraudulent claims in line, line items of AR reports that come in. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think about this issue now being heavily politicized? We see it on the left with Hillary Clinton bringing it in, and she's fighting for this. Of course, uh, Cecile Richards' daughter is now working for the Clinton campaign, so I'm mm -hmm. sure there's no conflict of interest sure. there. Uh, and then and then Fiorina actually released part of the video and she was attacked, of course, for saying what she so boldly and courageously spoke out about. Uh, so what do you think about this being tossed now as the new softball in the politics? Well, I mean, honestly, I'm glad that it's being talked about more. I'm, I'm glad that this is uh, sort of on the forefront of, of people's minds. Uh, I, I think for a long time, people just sort of they just sort of thought, well, Planned Parenthood is here and, and they're providing these good services and it's just a little bit of what they do. But now, you know, even if it was just one a year, I mean, even if it was just one abortion a year, but you see how heinous it is, I think people are finally starting to see just how egregious uh, abortion is and, and what it's actually doing to these unborn children. And uh, that's sort of causing them to rise up and say, hey, look, it doesn't matter if it's 
one or if it's 300,000, it doesn't matter that this is, this is wrong, that it's happening to one person is, is wrong enough that we need to stand up and speak out. Do you see it as a victory? I mean, even if it's a small victory that Planned Parenthood says they're, they're going to stop selling aborted baby body parts, they're still going to be harvesting and donating them. They're just not going to be profiting off them. Even though they've admitted, you said that they didn't, they're not guilty of committing any crime. They're sort of yeah, acquiescing to the demands of everyone speaking out about how gruesome those videos yeah. were. I think it is a victory. Uh, in a, I mean, it's certainly not the victory we want to see, right? But I think, I think it is a step because I think it's forcing... Uh, I think it's forcing Planned Parenthood to have to actually admit that this is a problem and, and that, you know, it's even a problem for, for some of some people who I have talked to who said, well, I, you know, I really didn't think anything was wrong with Planned Parenthood. I really didn't think anything was wrong with abortion, but gosh, seeing what's actually taking place. I mean, it's changing their minds. It definitely changed my mind. And, you know, I've said that from the very beginning, I, you know, women, there's different circumstances for for women, but to actually see those videos, it really makes you have to think of it and look at it in an entirely different way because it's not fetal tissue. It's not a cluster of cells. And you could actually see that with those videos, which is so important. And you have people actually debating the videos, admitting that they've never even seen them, mm -hmm. talking, they haven't done anything wrong. They've committed no crime, admitting that they haven't even seen the videos. Right. The people admitting to the things that they're doing on these videos, which I think is ridiculous. So what do, you, what do you think about the fact also that um, a lot of people say, well, now um, lower income families, women aren't going to be able to get their health care? Yeah, you know, that, that is probably the biggest myth perpetrated by Planned Parenthood is that they sort of have the market on health care for low income women. It's, it's a complete lie. Um, there, there are no Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood does not exist in any community where there are not other health care options available for low income families. Uh, and that's just I mean, that's just the facts. I mean, the Planned Parenthood is not in. They would like people to believe that they're in all of these rural counties, rural places where there's nowhere else for women to get health care. But um, that's absolutely untrue. And uh, even here alone in the state of Texas, I've been saying, you know, we've only have we only have 35 Planned Parenthood facilities in this huge state of Texas. And we've got almost 5,000 uh, centers, doctors, medical centers, uh, healthcare facilities who are able to take the Texas Women's Healthcare Program, which is a, a state funded program, does not pay for abortion. Uh, does not support providers that refer for abortion. And, and so that, you know, we have that program here in the state of Texas. I mean, 35 clinics compared to 5,000. Right, I mean, and they Parenthood need is not millions needed. of dollars. Right. They need that federal funding. And that's what it is. That's the big issue here is people just say, fine, do what you need to do, but I don't want my taxpayers, my tax dollars paying for it. Right. And that's the big issue here. And you see that, you see them scrambling to, not commit the illegal deeds that we allegedly saw on those undercover videos. And of course they did respond by saying that they're no longer gonna be doing this. Um, well, Abby, thank you so much for coming in. And of course you're always welcome whenever anything is breaking in this area. I don't think this is the last no. of this Planned Parenthood saga. Well, thank you for watching the show tonight. We'll see you here again Monday, 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. The InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.